<laughs> yeah, so here we go. I was I was studying finance and work. Yeah. Some other things at Indiana University, Bloomington, Indiana. I went to IU. It's a great school. Many <laughs> graduates joining the audience. Um, graduates all over the country. I was in that phase of life where I'm like, you know what the world needs more than this. <laughs> That is a very, it was a sad thing. But anyway, so like, I was at a bar, and they were auditioning for Real World. Yeah. This is going to be like my ticket. This is a, everybody's dream. So, you're going to be like 22. And so, I auditioned, and I got on the road rules. And then, yeah, yeah, I was in a like a decade ago. Were you really on it, though? Yeah, I was one of the people. Yeah. Which season? Who else was on your road roll? Uh, Abram. Donnell. It was, it was Donnell. Remember him? I remember Donnell. Yeah, he was, was really moody and he would like go moody. have like bratty fits and stuff. Yeah, he would have fits. Yeah, I lived in a little truck with him. <laughs> <laughs> so that was... That was... So, do so you guys still talk or no? Oh, like, man. Donnell, Donnell had a rough go. I think, mm -hmm. I think like he was in jail like moments after <laughs> And I'm not even kidding. I think that's what happened. You, I don't know. So, I but he's fine. You were just like, you were just like, uh, studying finance in a bar, audition. Yeah. That's not an easy process. There are thousands of people who audition. I mean, it's an easy process. It's not like, I, I, the, the odds were not for me to get it. Yeah, like, the process is just like, hey, find some, you, you, you gotta get people in like that phase of life where you're like, yeah, me, everybody needs to see. Like, did you have to make like, God, did you have to make like a tape of you at home being crazy? Yeah, I did so much. It was so douchey. Well, so... <laughs> <laughs> I haven't thought about this process. I think I was like, I think when I started like acting, I, 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 I felt I needed to distance myself from that. Like, sure, but, but. Yeah, I made a video, <laughs> and I think I videotaped some of me like it's interacting with like an average street vendor, or like, <laughs> like you know, like, things like that. So then I jumped like, off he's like just a, like us. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like, like, uniformity and but um, what's your like? There's always like a character that they're looking yeah. for. Well, I was definitely like the guy who's gonna calm all the shit down. Okay, so you got you got to be normal guy in reality. I was the That's a good role. Guy. Oh yeah, and I knew, I knew, and God bless the other people on these shows. Like, I do not mock that. These people like really live like there's not a camera on them, and I knew there was a camera on them. <laughs> so, and, like, thank God, because you know nobody remembers me. Were you that. there? Let me just ask you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Were you were you there to make friends? <laughs> was I there to make friends? I mean, I doesn't everybody have to say one time on the show I'm not here to make friends or actually <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I was like I was quoted and this is something I've had to work on since then. It's like my big tagline was I just want people to like me. <laughs> if that doesn't that doesn't get my Aww. psyche, Aww. you know, nothing else will. Uh, were, you, were you hoping to get into acting, or are you just no, wanted to see more of it? I was from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and then St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, wow. great towns. Wow. A lot wow. of graduates in that town. I just, <laughs> just might have just been putting and picking my drink. Okay. Um, but um, there was no sense of, like, this, like, entertainment is an option. So I think it was me oh, expressing nice. some, I need something else. But it certainly wasn't necessarily going to be acting, and it didn't, oh, I didn't wow. want to do like reality TV for the rest of my life, which a lot of people do after that. Yeah, that's a viable career. It turned well, out. yeah. <laughs> of some very well, uh, yes, a, couple of people, a couple of people in your season went and get, did Playboy spreads right after. That's right. So there was other wow. uh, there were options that opened up that made it happier. Wow. Yeah, it was a lot. How did, so wow. how did you make that jump? Then when did you realize like I did this? TV likes me. Yeah, that wasn't really it. It was like. It was kind of like, okay, I tried something, and it worked, that goes down. Yeah, that goes um, I tried something, that worked. I don't want to do finance. I was like so pumped for full of Ritalin just to like get through finals. And, and there were people who were just like, great at all that stuff. I'm like, I can't compete in the world of business. I think I might have like a, like a latent want to do this kind of thing. So, it took a couple of like depressed uh -huh. years in St. Louis. 
in my mom's basement. Post road rules. Post road rules. The press just like bloated, drink it. It was terrible. And then, uh, and then, then I was just like, I gotta go give it a try. You know, there's, I, I, I had something in my head. My grandpa like wanted to be an actor, and his buddy went and did it. And he like became famous in L.A. Oh. Back then, I thought that was like a better way. Now I'm like, well, my grandpa was happy too. Right. <laughs> but, uh, but he never did it, so I was kind of like, I'm like, I should do it. But, but you didn't ride the road rules wave. You stopped, hung out in the trough for a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. Then moved to L.A. when there's yeah. no people on you. That's right. <laughs> and you still. So how did that happen? Then how did how was because that's the story that usually ends in sadness. <laughs> yeah. There's still time, Alex. <laughs> Look at Brad Trees. You're gonna hit 100 episodes. It's gonna be the rest of your life. Yeah. What's, what, so what was that like? What were your first couple years uh, in LA like? Mm -hmm. um, I was like, I had like the business part of my minutes. brain, which most of the actors did not there. I'm like, must get agent, must. It's like a numbers game. Don't lose focus. I was very focused because of the plans. High on Ritalin in the <laughs> and and. Uh, and yeah, it was just like, yeah, right. I was just auditioning constantly. Well, so you, I, I mentioned wow. in your intro a lot of shows yeah. you did, which is, it's an impressive resume, yeah. but it also, those are probably not that long of a shoot, and so <laughs> I was really, I heard those, I'm like, yeah. I'm there no, for like a but, half hour. I mean, it's, just, it's an incredible IMDb page, but see, there's also quite a lot of downtime between those. Oh, like, how, God, yeah. How was your confidence level when you do one appearance, then two appearances, then three? Like, at what point did you feel like this is working? I have. Well, you kind of get. It's, it's a, they say it's like it's like a, a, a fast yes and a slow no. You know, like it, you can you kind of know when you're like something that they it's easy to book. Uh -huh. It's not necessarily because you're talented. It's just kind of like oh they fit a certain. Type. What was your type? It seems like a lot of medical shows. Like, what was your? It's like the guy who wants people to like him. <laughs> um, like, no, so, like, 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 you know, romantic so, dude. I, 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 it's just, I'm just. Oh, uh, okay, say more about that. No, it sounds. <laughs> sometimes like the romantic partner. Uh -huh. Sometimes like the dicky, like lawyer dude. Okay. With a ton of money. You know, just like it fits in a lot of things. But that's not. I mean, that's like, yeah. That's good. That's good to have. That's great. I mean, I'm, on, I'm happy to be working. <laughs> And and so you're 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 running along. So then yes. Grim comes along. Yes, it does. Was this the first pilot you were in? No, I've done. I did a couple pilots prior to that. Uh, pilot season is miserable. I, does anybody like understand? Does anybody know what that is? So like you have like one. What's yeah. that? That's a local reference. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, the so points. No, he's talking about. Uh, I did a uh, so and and you, you it's, it's like a time of year. It's like a month and a half long in LA where they're making new TV shows and like. It's, 5% of those ever get picked up a series, and like no percent of those ever turn in anything. So every actor is like waiting for the next pilot season. So if you like don't get one, you have like 11 months. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's, 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 it's hard on the. So when Grim came along, you were assuming small percent chance of. Uh, yeah, I knew I was up. like in the mix for things and whatever, but you never know. Like, you never know. Well, you also, actually, like, shortly before Grimm, were uh, being considered for the role of Superman. Yeah. I've read. Yeah. And wow. what they do like... Wikipedia made that is actually true. Well, wow. but, but even yeah. if you're being me mentioned wow. in the conversation, at what point are you like, I'm what people think Superman looks like? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I think wow. it's right. Wow. Wow. Really you I think that they wanted someone who was actually man-sized. <laughs> I'm like super boyish. You know? So like I'd like to, you know, I got the clutch. Super here. boyish is also something I would watch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, there you go. There you go. Uh, yeah. So, so you guys you get you you get okay. Grim. Uh, yeah. So we had you had your friend Silas on last month. What a lovely guy. Lovely guy. And the only thing he said was that uh, nobody on the set thought this would work. Yeah, well, he's like a pet. He's like the, my curmudgeon wonderful friend. Right yeah. Um, and he's always done like a million things. Totally he has. like has, knows the grind yeah. of Hollywood. Yeah, stuff. I mean, he's like not like mm -hmm. he didn't, he knew things I didn't know. Right. You know, I so was just you, like, so you were like, great. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, uh, was that your, you read the first script and you were like, this is the thing. No, no, no I was like, like, I, I just, <laughs> I knew NBC needed stuff, and they were casting a lot of things. So, so I'm like, oh, there's a good chance this can go. <laughs> when you're reading Business. scripts, yeah, yeah, it's totally true. Like when you're reading scripts, like it can be a great script, but like that doesn't mean anything that it'll go or be right. a job. It's like it takes 
a lot of luck for that to happen. So I was just like looking to the next meal, kind of. Thing. And what was what was the moment then? Because now you're just about to hit. You're in fifth season. Yeah, we're filming our 100th episode right we're now. We're filming our 100th episode. Yeah. Which is, yeah, it's great. Thank you. Thank you. Also, so we're gonna do with it, but thank you. Like an important magical number in TV shows. Yeah, more so in the past. That's okay, not okay. changed a bit. Yeah, we've been syndicated already. Well, at what point though in the show did it did it dawn on you that this was a success? When did you know that like, this is working? Oh god, man, I was so buried. Like my days were so long, and I was like so nervous all the time that I didn't. What even was the really... nervousness about? What was making you nervous? Well, you get a lot of. It's it's definitely made by committee. And I was, I'd never been like the lead of the show on a show that went, and suddenly now, like, there's a lot of eyes on me, a lot of... Did you feel a lot of that pressure? Oh my god, like, I lost several years of life. And I aged like a wartime president. <laughs> for that first year of the show. It was intense. <laughs> but, so you're like a gray-haired super boy. Exactly. <laughs> You got me. That is what I am. Uh, I think. I think. Like a couple years in, when I could like actually kind of realize what was happening, I, I realized that oh wow, this is this is working, and we're gonna keep going. What was the What was the pressure about? What was it like? Do I have like? Was it I have to do better, or like I hope I everything else gets like, lucky? Yeah, I know. I think there was just like a sense of like, oh, it's a team, like millions of people, like yeah. I, I was just putting way too much pressure on myself. And there's a huge workload for the lead of a one hour drama, whatever. It's like boo boo yeah. actor. But, uh. <laughs> yeah, like, great life, I'm fine. Yeah, right, right. Uh, but in the beginning, it was, you know, man, I was just, I was open to hearing everybody's critique. Um, everybody had, like, things they wanted me to do, like, every department. I don't, so it was tough. I don't want to interrupt, but your, your hair is making an S on yeah, the forehead. Yeah, let's, let's just let it be. into it. I don't know. Thank you. Uh, so... <laughs> and so you were like... I developed a small muscle. <laughs> <laughs> so were you like, I'm gonna act harder? I'm gonna act... Yeah, acting harder doesn't work well. Yeah, so what, yeah, what can you do <laughs> when you... You can't, work, you can't act harder. You just have to chill out. Uh, are you, so you're relaxed now, though. Now you're able to just have a good I'm time. Relaxed, yeah. I mean, it's what you know, take them and take the Xanax like, now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only for sleep. Only for sleep. You, like, have, Portland has been very good for you. You're yes. just, uh, yeah. You guys know. know where to find the good stuff. You are. <laughs> you are spending a lot of time in Portland now. We're yeah, yeah. Pro Focus show. How is this versus the grind in Hollywood? Oh, this town trumps Hollywood. I mean, this is the greatest yeah. town. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody involved in the show is just so. We are so grateful that this the circus took us here, yeah. as opposed to you know so many other places. It, it, the show makes us look like uh, a lot more violent than we are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that's a, I am the worst cop <laughs> in the entire <laughs> that's that's right Everybody I investigate dies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one, one to one correspondence. <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> it, a lot, of, a lot of the interviews that I've seen with you sort of treat you like you're the character, yeah, yeah, yeah. not like you're an actor playing yeah. this character. So, but then you, you just you bring it on yourself when you say things like that. How do you, <laughs> like... I always say, ah, oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, so do you... Yeah. When people treat you like that, because obviously you've got some of the, the, the Beatles scream from an audience now. Right. Uh, and do you, like, how, how does that feel, like, when people... Treat you now that you've done this 100 episodes, like you're part of the character, do you feel like it's become more of you than a normal Yeah, movie? like this is a, it's like when you're on a show that lasts this long, like little things happen to your identity that you wouldn't think about, such as like, I can't, like any grown man here can just choose a new haircut. <laughs> like, I mean, it's like a process, and so like, I'm like locked into what happened in 2011. <laughs> All the time, you know. It's, it's so, uh, but he had his mustache. Never his mustache. Character in a sense. It's a good thing he didn't start off with a Skrillex or something. You're so right about that. You're so right about that. But if he wanted to now, he would have that option. No, yeah, it's just like it, 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 there's a lot of pieces to that puzzle. Uh, but do you have somebody from NBC who's like? Measuring the stubble every day and making sure it's the right circling my body fat. Um, not, <laughs> not as, is that not as much. You? No, it's just kind of like a. Uh, there are eyes on you. Wait, right there's like continuity people and they're doing the job and it's like, well, last episode you had this haircut. 
like camp, but like every episode ends right at the end and start of the next step. So like, <laughs> you know, you just have to say that. You just have to say forever. It's just like, it's gonna be this length. What is your, so what's your, uh, like, I'm gonna have a rebellion at the end of this where it's just gonna be a beard. <laughs> it's like it's like a child dude. Isn't that a that's a uh, yeah, yeah, that, rebellion? Like Britney shaving her head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that. Is, that, is that something you're having now? You've been doing this and you get people like people know you are. Are you like empathizing with Britney now? You really? Oh think? gosh, I, I mean Britney's. I I don't even know how to answer that. Okay. She's a close friend. Yeah. 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 Is Britney okay? Yeah, she's great. I knew she had a rough go there for a while. No, she was on The Voice or something. Then she was fine. go. Okay, she's made it out. Yeah. So, so, so you're... I didn't know what happened. I remember like a very dark time. <laughs> do you... So what do you do now? You, like, you've got the... The show yeah. is going great. Continuing yeah. on in perpetuity. But are you now pigeonholed into this character for other jobs? Yeah, are you going to be seen know, as boyish cop forever? I don't know. Like, that's to be seen. I don't think so. I think one of the joys of our show is, like, it's big enough to keep going, but not, not, I'm not, like, hugely famous, so I won't get pigeonholed. I just did, like, a movie this summer where I was, like, a completely different character. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah are you, just, are you, is that something you want to do more movies? Is that where you're going? Yeah, I mean, uh, everybody wants to do that. I just yeah, I like, more movies. That's true. Like, <laughs> everybody wants to do more movies. Yeah. But I gotta have a mustache, so my rebellion is <laughs> lived through this mustache. Like, you're, you're your dream career is just getting to choose your own hair. Kind of. <laughs> what place? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we are all so happy to have, especially because like, it's our hometown show. You're a hometown hero, obviously. Oh, and we're excited for the show. And thank you for stopping by. We really appreciate it.